welcome your Royal Highnesses. I'm Carol and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only. And today I'm dining with my friend Lee. Lee. Say hi. Hi. And we're going to eat at Coral Reef and I'll show you around a bit. Now if you're a little early for your reservation, you can always scoot around to Nemo next door. Every time I want them to talk, they never do. Hi, 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 Okay, so you know our motto here at Walt Disney World only is never grow up. Well, I guess that's why I'm in that category is I have to go hear them say, mine, 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 mine. And then if you want to see the aquarium, if you go to the left of Nemo, that's where you'll find the aquarium. Here's also a very good picture spot. So we're just a little early for our dining reservation. So we're going to pop in the aquarium for a minute and then we'll go dine. Okay, so our table is ready. Hi, they said our table is ready. Awesome, what's your last name? Hugen. Hugen, Carol. Yep. Perfect, you guys are all set to head inside. Thank you. So one of the things I love about this place, and I'm hoping you can see it, is the doors. Look at that. The door handles are seahorses. And then as you come in, the shelves, the anemones on the ceiling. It's just a real, real, real. Thank you. And I love the glass in the background. Hi, how's it going? Hello, checking in. Hey, what's the name? Perfect. I do have a table ready for you. I'm just waiting for a seater to take you back. Alrighty. You can have a seat on our blue couches that are straight ahead here. And one of my seaters is going to come get you. There's also restrooms on the right here. There's a first view of the aquarium. Watch your Okay, who needs the bathroom? Ah. Oh, right over here. Oh, perfect, thank you. So we've got a prime location. Front row seats to the aquarium. So we've got divers over there in the corner. Yes. Cleaning the paint. And it's interesting that um, they are on lines. They are not free scuba. So now I'm not sure if that is a rope system to pull them up for safety. In case one of the sharks that seems to be heading over the way towards the diver uh, gets a little frisky maybe. So if you haven't figured out by now. I am a big kid at heart, even more so at Disney. So I always have to have a drink that has the glow cube in it. So uh, this is the, oh, I don't remember which, the blue glow teeny made with vodka. They also have another one made with rum. So cheers. 
also, I think the theme is that I always looked like that girl in Willy Wonka who had too much blueberries. And I'm being silly and that's my first sip, so I can't even blame it on the alcohol today. Just having a good day here at Epcot. And we decided on the raspberry mojito, very nicely decorated. How is it, Lee? Very refreshing and very raspberry. I like it a lot. Very good. And minty. It's got the mint. It's got that touch of mint, too. And my glutini, it is sweet. I don't normally like a sweet drink, but for the glow cube, gotta do the glutini. So both Lee and I started with the shrimp cocktail. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Um, fairly large pieces of shrimp, the little added cup, the grilled lemon, and the presentation is just really, really cool. So, A plus for the theming in this restaurant, their presentation, Lee is going to take off her turn here. The lemon's a little hard to get off, and then you can pour the lemon on top if you'd like. And I like lemon, so. So she is using a lot of lemon there. Take a bite. See what you think, Lee. And the cocktail sauce. And again, I apologize for it being so dark in here, but that's part of the mood. Really good horseradish. Very good. Cooked perfect. Mm. The lemon on top is, is really nice. Horseradish, not too much, but flavorful. Shrimp, nicely done, not overcooked or rubbery, which can sometimes happen. So, funny story. I have a dog named Penny. She never begs. When we're eating, she's laying down somewhere, doesn't care. However, if I have shrimp, she begs because she wants the shrimp tails. Now, you know, people food for dogs isn't always good. They can develop pancreatitis, so I only limit her to three. But whenever we have shrimp, she gets three shrimp tails because it's the only time she begs. So Lee ordered the salmon. Um, it comes over some risotto and a um, watercress and microgreens mix. I had the mahi-mahi uh, over some jasmine rice. I see some pineapples. I also see a whole bunch of little shrimp on here um, that I didn't see coming with it, but that's no problem because I love shrimp. And a decent sized piece of mahi-mahi, not huge, but a nice presentation. So Lee, reading the menu more carefully, told me that this is a shrimp mango salsa over the whole dish, which just sounds even more delicious than what I had anticipated. How was your salmon? Salmon is perfectly cooked, and really savory, and the risotto is a real cheesy, I think it's a scallion risotto. It's really creamy and really cheesy. And then they must grow their own microgreens because, and they're very tasty, the microgreens, with a little bit of pickled vegetables on top. It's very yeah. good. So if you've ever done the Living with the Land tour, um, 
they grow a lot of the microgreens for all the restaurants here. So one of the things that's always a dilemma when you're talking about a table service restaurant, you don't want to spend a lot of time dining unless it's the end of the evening and you're just exhausted and want to relax. But if you're dining earlier in the day, you don't want it to be quick serve, but you don't want to linger waiting for your check, waiting for your food. And one of the things that Coral Reef does is give you that happy medium. So they're quick to bring you the food. You don't feel rushed. You could sit here and stare at the aquarium for hours if you wanted, but they are very cognizant of the fact that you are in a theme park and you probably want to go out to the theme park again. So they're, they're quick about their appetizers, entrees, drinks. Uh, Michelle, our server, checked back with us probably five or six times to make sure we were right. Normally, I would do a dessert. The lava cake here is fabulous, but we are going to the dessert party to see Enchantment, so obviously I'm not doing a dessert here and a dessert there. So, highly recommend this restaurant as far as service, in and out time. I did the online check-in and I think two minutes later my table was ready. Granted, we're here sort of at the end of lunch before dinner, so this time spot is, is really, really good. The food is good. Now, we ate at California Grill last night, so I'm comparing last night's meal to this. And obviously it doesn't stack up, but it's consistent, it's warm, the shrimp presentation is very good. Dessert I've had in the past is excellent. So it, it can be a nice choice if you're in your middle of the day at Epcot, you don't want to do a quick serve, you need to recharge a little bit, and it's just very relaxing watching the fish. It's a lower lo noise level restaurant, so that can also be very pleasant. The top scale, it's not. Bottom scale, it's not. So it's a nice, moderate meal for a moderate price, in and out. That's what you're looking at here. If you're looking for a signature experience at Coral Reef, you're gonna be disappointed. If you think it's a quick serve where you get to sit down inside, you will be elated. So if your expectations are a nice moderate with decent service, decent food, this is the place to go. watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please tell me in the comments below if you'll consider eating at Coral Reef or if you've eaten here before. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and hit the bell so you know when new notifications come out so you don't miss any of our fabulous vlogs or videos. And if you're not a member of our adult-only Facebook group, please join us there for adult-centered discussions. Last but not least, remember, never grow up.